Robert Streb here for birdie at his final hole of the day. See birdie this last three make a clean streak all the way to the clubhouse. Well done Robert Streb winner back here in the 14 15 season had to get back on the tour through the corn ferry last year. Always nice to come back where you have some good memories. Robert Streb for birdie at the 12th. This was over the plantation course. There are two courses in use Thursday and Friday this week. It turned out to be a really nice day. The wind's not nearly as strong as yesterday. Trying to draw this in. There's a little ridge. It'll keep collecting. Mm -hmm. Good shot there. That's moving down to about five, six feet for birdie to get uh, Streb to minus 13 if he can knock that in and a par five to come at 18. So thought he might be able to get in the house at 13 or 14 under par. Looking like that right now. Another quality shot. Streb now for his eighth birdie of the day to get to 13 under par. Now solid putt. Has the par five left. 18th hole at Plantation is a par five with a penalty area all the way down the left side. Pretty generous driving area here though. It looks like he may have lost this up to the right, but he's in good shape. This hole's playing downwind and he should have no trouble get home, getting home in two. Location right in the front, so you gotta take the water out of play. Looks like it's on a good line. Oh, oh wow. wow. Downwind, he only carried that penalty area by about two yards, three yards at the most. Two, say, 11 to the hole, but this would be a heck of a way to finish. Can't do it. He didn't miss many. Oh. Birdie gets to 14 under. Birdie is at 17 and 18 for Streb in a round of 63. He does go over the right one. It's about a 280 carry. He likes it, Trevor, and he should. He fit it in the narrowest part of the fairway there, in, the, and he's going to have a little better angle. Very aggressive. It's left with 91, but ball well below his feet. Lob wedge, can he still get the right contact? He sure did, and he stayed down on that with that ball below his feet, able to clip it off of there. Almost a tap in for birdie for Streb. Eating strokes gain putting through two days. Pretty steady start. Started the day with a two-shot lead. Sometimes Saturdays you go out with a lead like that and you see guys, you know, they're a little nervy. They falter a little bit. And Robert Streb's tee shot. I got it. This is nice and high up the right side, drawing back. 169 mile an hour ball speed. Pretty average for the PGA Tour. And for Streb at 10. 130 yards, pitching wedge. He'll try and fly this all the way back there. That ball turning over, riding the wind a little bit. And another good shot for Streb. It's one of those that he's going to have to get started outside of the left, though, and let it die in there. Yeah, well, you saw that stat. He's second right now in strokes gained putting. So he's filling it up right now on the greens. Pick it on that line. Thanks. He's been driving it well, and that is just right <laughs> down the middle of the fairway. He'll be able to reach this green in two with a good shot. Try and keep it out of that right green side bunker. Did not birdie it in his opening round when he shot a 65. This is a good looking shot. That's back. Ooh. That is going to be it. There is trouble mm -hmm. over the green here. He'll stay short of the. Uh, Sandy waste area, but that is interesting. He really hit that one through the wind, had one bogey this week. So he's played some really solid golf, lots of birdies. So he's got plenty of speed on it. But again, another good leaf. So he's putting uphill and into the wind. Obviously would like to have hit a little bit closer, but still a nice look for birdie. Knocks another one in. Robert Streb gets to 17 under. The Kansas State Wildcat is in command. Now Streb on the tee. 
And that draw with the driver has been very reliable so far today. This one just hanging down the left-hand side, needs a straight bounce. Yeah, it looks like if it doesn't run out down there, another fairway for him. So but he's got to make sure he stays out of that left bunker. Be a little surprised if this isn't out to the right, maybe 20 feet. And actually a little bit more than that. A, a little tentative, but the way he's played, you just don't want to make a mistake here to finish your round. There's that speed again. He's just so dialed in. It makes it so much more comfortable when everything ends up around the hole. Robert Streb will go into the final round with a three shot lead. Robert Streb playing the par five seventh, his third shot from just shy of the green. Billy Ray is with this group. Well, thank you, With This third shot comes across the green, then back downhill. Just hole high left with his second shot. And you can see how quick the greens are today. Yep, six straight pars this putt. A little tough read here. Goes left early on, then right at the end. It's for a two shot lead if it goes in. And he oh. finally gets one to fall here, Billy Ray. So that's maybe the nerves that were there. We're gonna start to calm down. A little deep breath for Robert trying to win here for the second time. Ninth tee. Robert Streb with driver here, Billy Ray. Yeah, playing downwind. 297 carries that bunker on the left. This is a bullet up the left-hand side, fading back toward the fairway. He has driven it well. He has hit a ton of greens in regulation. Well, here's Streb's second shot. We're gonna take a look at our Top Tracer technology powered by Top Golf. Well, that was a pitching wedge from 150 yards with that helping breeze. A club he could max out, I like that play. Now Streb at the ninth, his birdie attempt down the hill. Yeah, I'm just gonna move slightly back to the right at the end. There's a leaderboard just to the right of the green. Ooh, he pours that in. So he took a lead, look at that leaderboard to the right of the green here at nine and uh, knows exactly what the situation is right now. At 17, Robert Streb on the tee, one shot off the lead. Six iron on the way there. 203 yards hanging out to the right. Six iron's gonna need a lot of club to get hey. there. Wow. Oh, what a kick that was. Billy Ray, that is, uh, we've seen mostly five irons from the players. Kisner's five iron barely cleared the bunker. That was a big hit. And now has a great look for Birdie to tie the lead. He knows exactly where everything stands down the hill, down grain, just gets it started. Made it. Yeah, center cut there. Wow, so now Robert Streb goes from pursuing to a chance to win. Yeah, they like it. And well should too. Hit pretty soft. He's right at the top of the hill, so a little further back than some of the players that we've seen down there at the bottom. Another look from high above at this second shot. and. Uh, probably pretty close to the target he was aiming at. Very nice. Boy, really good shot. That looked like an eight iron from way out there. Seventy two holes insufficient to settle the issue on St. Simons Island. They got by the bunkers this time, which is a very good break. Even though it's in the rough now, he at least has an angle and he has a good shot. That's a pretty good lie over there, too. 158 yards. This is a pitching wedge. Boy, he went at it. A good looking line here. Wow. Oh, oh what, what a, a shot. shot. Oh. <laughs> that is some shot. And the green. Watch Streb's shot again.
Man, yeah. that, that <laughs> kissed the edge. It sure did. He'll remember that shot for a long time. Robert Streb is the first two-time champion of the RSM Classic. Beating Kevin Kisner in the second hole of the playoff. Great stuff, man.